please welcome to the stage, Josh Thompson. <laughs> Any women here tonight? <laughs> well, I've got news for you, ladies. Did you know that air conditioning is sexist? <laughs> air conditioning, especially in office buildings, is sexist. It's usually installed by a man and set at a temperature deemed comfortable for men. That's why, ladies and officers, you'll often feel a bit colder than your male counterparts. Any ladies back me up here? <laughs> right? Because you're cold. Women are cold. <laughs> You're cold, women! You're cold! My wife is freezing! <laughs> when she puts her feet on me in the middle of the night, it feels like I've been in the fridge since the day she was born! <laughs> you can see that Game of Thrones white frost shit starts spreading over my body! In fact, I believe she specifically chose me to be her husband because out of our group of friends, I was the largest. <laughs> and therefore could output the greatest amount of heat. <laughs> she takes my heat. My heat. <laughs> heat that I've been cultivating throughout the day for my personal use later on. Because my body knows how much heat to make to keep a human being alive. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with her body. <laughs> She's nearly dead all the time. <laughs> I have to lie on her side of the bed every night before she gets in <laughs> to warm it up or she might not make it through to the morning. She wears a jacket every time she leaves the house, and she makes me wear a jacket as well. I thought she was worried that I would get cold. She's not worried. She knows I've got hot on tap. She makes me wear a jacket to hide me, to cloak her prize bull, to disguise my thermal signature from other cold women. <laughs> She's seen how cold women react on the street when I step into the suburb. They're like children hearing the Mr. Whippy song. Oh, God, where's that coming from? Is it coming towards us or is it going about? Oh, there he is! There he is! <laughs> she once left me alone at a shopping mall. And when she came back out of the shop, there was a bunch of women standing around me like this. like a pack of hobos standing around a barrel fire. <laughs> She's future-proofing the house as well. She told me she wanted children. I know what she wanted. Little Joshes. <laughs> Little heaters in every room. <laughs> Little heaters with my massive DNA <laughs> that will turn into Daikin heat pumps like me. He pumps that'll warm the house evenly and consistently 365 days a year. I don't blame her. She's cold. You're cold, women, you're cold. I feel bad for lesbians. <laughs> Lesbian couples, your power bills must be outrageous. <laughs> Doesn't help there's a male couple that lives across the road either. <laughs> well, they've got the opposite problem. It's too hot in there. <laughs> they got the windows open, their shirts off. They're flaunting their heat. It's Club Tropicana in there. <laughs> it's not for me to judge how homosexual couples conduct their thermal business. I'm just a man walking around at night time looking into people's houses. <laughs> Sleep well. <laughs> <laughs>